you are legally married to your wife Mary. You prank Mary first, and Mary prank you back. That's the beginning of this your problem. And Mary prank you back, you turn into another thing. All right, guys. This our daddy here has a very strong message for Lord of Lemon concerning the way he's treating Mary against Joy, and he also has a message for Mary in case if Mary wants to sue Lord of Lemon for pigamy. So, guys, I'm going to leave the full video for you guys to hear from this our daddy. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back. People are blaming him. Yeah, we have a lot of blame. I need to blame yourself, Lord of Lemon. Now you are legally married to your wife Mary. You prank Mary first and Mary prank you back. That's the beginning of this your problem. And Mary prank you back, you turn into another thing. You never forgive her. Yes, Mary made a mistake. When you a young girl, how does Mary? And how, how old are you too? I believe two of you are not even ripe enough to get married. But maybe because of the small change you have, your man, that you're running to marry. Because two of you are just not matured for marriage. Mary, we said Mary, maybe Mary uh, went out or he met the former boyfriend on, um, in, in, in the restaurant. He's not supposed to do. She's not supposed to go there. She doesn't have the right to go and meet her former boyfriend. But it's a public place. And when you get to know, she apologized. She kneeled down and begged you. Since then, you never forgive her. Two of you started having a problem in the house. She begged, 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 and she apologized to you, but you never accept apology. Every day, quarreling in the house with the prank. She, she, with the prank. And she begged you, but you were the fourth person to prank her. And she pranked you back, you turn into a nothing. Remember, I don't know what to call you. Maybe a prankster, a, 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 a prank star or a content creator. I don't even know the name to call you. Or a blogger. I don't know the one you belong to, but I believe you belong to all of them. Because you do prank, you do blog, and you, are, you do a content creator, you are a content creator too. So, I don't know why you said um, a lot of um, blogger, they are talking about you on social media, they put everything about you and your family on social media. Lord Lemon, how do you make your name? How do you know your name? It's true to social media. I can say maybe I, I think you are if 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 I should qualify you or we qualify you as um as a social media reality star. Yeah, I will call I will call I qualify you as social media reality star. So she know anything everything about you have to come to your media you are no more you can't say you want your privacy no way you can't hide anything for public anymore you cannot hide anything for public anymore because you made your name there and you are Social media reality star. That's where you make your name. So you don't have privacy anymore. Once you put yourself on social media and you made your money there, and that's where you belong to. So you cannot say you want your privacy. 
You can't. Like me now, I cannot say uh, I need one privacy. No way. Once I have put my face on social media, I'm a blogger, I'm a speaker on social media. So I cannot say I want my privacy anymore. If you don't want that, keep away from social media. If you don't want that, you have to keep away from social media. And part your uh, by your two wife. <laughs> by your two wife. Your wife Mary, the first your your wife gong gong Mary that you marry in uh, in court. Because you did the court wedding. You say you didn't go to church, yes. But the court one is which one is legal? Is the court one? So you are still legally married to Mary before you go and do another traditional marriage to another lady. You commit offense here yeah, if you don't know. If Mary don't look, you said Mary working from the Mary did not work from the house. It's your brother or your uncle. Who said when the when the when two of you are having problem in the house? Who told Mary then? I remember very well. Said, Mary should vacate the house for some time. Maybe your mind will come down. Or maybe after some time, everything will settle. Mary don't leave the house like that. It's for all of you. So okay, Mary should vacate the house for some time, which I said on my. One of my videos that, that your brother is only a good brother or your uncle is only a good, uh, it's only a good uncle. Why can you send somebody's wife to move away from the house for some time? So we just separate for them. That's how Mary left the house for some maybe weeks that time. Immediately, you go and bring another woman into the same house when you have not divorced the first one. You've come into friends there, you don't know. You cause it yourself. And you said you love Mary before, but now you don't love Mary anymore. So if you don't love somebody and you don't want to forgive her, why what what are you supposed to do? Go back to that court, file, you're gonna file the divorce. Go and file the divorce. You refuse to file the divorce. You say she just go away. You have to go to that court. To go and fight, fight for the divorce. So you say I can divorce her and you can, so you'll be able to marry your, your friend um uh, wife. But you refuse to do that. You say she just go away from your house. Just get away from your house. Who does that? You cannot just send her away like that. And she won't go away like that. You have to sign the paper, you have to go to back to court. Where you did the first one. And go and do the divorce there. So why are you scared to go to court? You are shouting every day. They should go. They should go. They should go. You don't love somebody, and you don't want. You don't, you don't want to do the right thing. You don't want that in your life anymore. It's joy that you want. You are free to marry the joy you want, but do the right thing. Divorce this lady. Go to court. Do the right thing. Why are you afraid? You know the implication, that's why you are afraid. You are scared to do that. Because you have already committed offense. You can go to jail for what you did. You don't know. You don't know. You see, by shouting on social media every day, crying like a baby, you don't know you are a baby. Because you don't know the law. Only you are just scared. But if you know the law, you will not even try it at all at all. If you know the implication, because you are afraid, because you will not even try it. You're gonna bring another woman into the house when you have not divorced the first one. You have not divorced the first one. So, Mary, I don't know why what Mary is doing. Mary. 
can do the right thing now. I will advise Mary to don't even pity you. Mary is still pitying you. He cannot work. He don't love her anymore. They will fire, fire for divorce to take you to court. Go to court. You know. Because that's why you are scared. But Mary is still maybe passionately still pitying you that maybe when nothing can come out. I don't know why Mary is still waiting. Nothing will come out. If Lemon refuses to do it, do and do it yourself. Get your lawyer to write this boy. Okay, we, the guy says he has money. Why so? Why is he scared of uh, signing the first letter? Can we say you are short you have money. You have, yeah, I just bought a mansion. Bought a mansion. Well, I mean, how can a woman be now you? Now you nail yourself again now. You are seeing the marriage. You haven't divorced Mary. You bought nice mansion for Mary. You are Mary. You don't know, but she's seeing the marriage. If anything happened today, Mary is going to have part of what she just got now. But she's seeing the marriage. So if you know you don't want Mary, why don't you do it in time before you go and buy this nail? It's God that wants to cash you. Because you, are, you say you are not okay, you are wicked. If you are not okay, you are wicked. The young lady made a mistake and she begged you, she apologized, but you refused. You turn her to a monster to say you don't like the way she's talking to you. Now, oh, of course. She already said that you don't love her and the way you talk to her, you don't like it. What do you expect? What respect do you want from her? Somebody you don't respect, you want that to respect you. You turn, you turn her to be a monster. So you don't know. She never, she was never like that before. That why she give you back. You have no respect. I can still respect you. You don't. Do you respect her? If you respect her, you won't go and bring another woman into the house. You will not go and bring an, another woman into the house. So you never respect her. That, well, well, when you respect her to, 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 to respect you. She can never respect you, because she know that you don't respect her. So you are, you are the one who turned me to what she is today. You are the one. I know you don't like the way she talks to you. You will talk back. What do you, what do you say from her? She will talk back. For you to go and you have the audacity. When you are still legally married to somebody. When you are the one who forced her out, who forced her out of that um, building before. If you know you don't even want to marry somebody else, you, you, you can marry that one outside, keep her there till you finish, uh, but, uh, you finish about your divorce uh, something. If you know you don't want Mary back anymore, you cannot forgive her. You should have rent apartment for the one you love now. You can keep her there till you finish your secretly. No, you will not even know anything about it. Secretly. Till you finish what you want to do, but because God want to, God, God want to put you in shame. That's why. That's why you don't know what you are doing. But what you know, God know that you are trying to shoot this lady. That's why everything is exposed. You don't even know what you are doing before you go and do it. If you have sense, you will not even, never, you will never bring another woman to that house. Or you are still going to marry to that, the first one. Before you take her to court, don't you know the implication? If you know the implication, why do you rush? If you know the implication, somebody will offend you, and you offend that too. You don't want to, you don't want to, forgive, you don't want to forgive her. She never sleep with that guy. She just met the former one at the at restaurant, which is very wrong for her to do. And she apologized, she begged you. You don't have sense. That's why she go there because she's a strong girl. She's a strong girl. 
And she immediately she realized that she begged you that what okay, I'm not about to go down. I meet this my former one on the, in the restaurant. And she applied, she knelt down and beg you. She knelt down and beg you. But you will never forgive her. You will never, you will never forgive her. If you don't like her, you said in the video, say you love her before, but you don't love her anymore. So what are you still doing with her? Somebody you don't love anymore, what are you still doing with her? Why don't you do the right thing? Do the right thing. Fire divorce. Let her go on separate way. You can do your own thing. But you refuse. You say she just you should just walk away from the marriage like that. Hmm? You say you don't need the offense you've committed. You've committed offense, you don't know. So you think money is everything. You see money, you think money is everything. You think fame is everything. You are not wise at all at all. They are not wise at all at all. And you are a shouting uh, blogger that they are talking about you. They are putting your matter on the social media and the video. Of course, they will, they will use you to be making money on social media. But that's where you make your own money too. You are a social media and, uh, reality star. So what do you expect? What privacy do you want? Yeah, probably if you go. If you say you are probably go. You call yourself a public girl. You say so. Say I'm a public girl. I'm a public girl. Yeah, you're a public girl. True, true. You're a public girl. Of course. So, what do you expect from public figure? How, how, how do you make this your name? The true social media. Social media. So, you better shut up your mouth and behave. All this shouting on Facebook cannot help you out. Learn some manners. The length of manners. No the right thing to do. Because you are just coming online and be full of yourself. Small boy. Small boy. How old are you? You are not 27 yet. You are living with a true woman. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You see, I have a long way to go. You see, I, you see, I, not, you see I'm not laying Maybe maybe seventy years to live in this in this world. So what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You think money is everything? You think the money is gonna be like that forever? You think the answer is gonna be like that forever? You think you're gonna be like that forever? You can't be like that forever. So you better sit down and think. Know what you want to do with your life. At your age, we are keeping two women in the house. At your age, how much do you have? How much do you have? How many investments do you have? That a lemon. Think, sit down and think. So, you don't have any privacy. Forget about privacy. You yeah. are yeah, probably figure. You will be seeing yourself on social media every day. All right, guys. What do you have to say concerning the advice this our daddy gave to Lord of Lemon? Please drop your opinion on the comment section, guys. And please, guys, if this is the first time I've seen my video on your screen, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell. In case I drop any updates concerning Lord of Lemon and Mary, you will be the first person to see it. Stay blessed, guys.